Okay, this is gonna be a real quick modeling exercise. I'm gonna model this bottle. I'm using it for a project I'm working on. And I know down here it says it's three inches square and nine inches tall. So I'm gonna move this over out of the way. And I'll come in here and I'll take my cube and I'm gonna just go into the dimensions here. And we know that these two are three inches and this is nine inches. Okay, I'm going to delete that plane. Okay, and that's our, that's our cube. And I'm going to take that, shift D it, and I'll set, I'll set the display to wireframe for that one. That's the template. I'm going to call that the template, just so I know kind of what, uh, if, I, if I need to refer to it back. So now I'll go in here, and I'm going to tab into this, and as I'm looking at it, I'm going to say Control-R, and let's move something up to the top where we know we want uh, the, op uh, the spout of it. Control R and we move it up to kind of the shoulders. Control R and move it down kind of to the bottom where we, okay, that works pretty good. And then I'm gonna go into my three almost like this and control plus hit that and then I'll go down and I'll grab those. So I have those done and I'm gonna scale those. Scale shift Z. So that means they're just scaling on the X and Y. So I'm gonna scale them something like like this, and this one's a little too big. So I'll take him and scale him out just a little more, something like that. Okay, and now I will take, and I'm gonna click on these, and I'll hold the Alt Control, and I'll get all of those, and I'll hold the Shift key, and I'll get all those, and I'll hold the Shift key again and get all those. And I'm gonna take all of those, and I'm gonna assign them a mean bevel weight of one. So now I've got that done, now I'll just go over here and add a modifier called a bevel. And we'll use edges and we'll use weight. And let's just jack it up to the max. So we have it like that. And let's give this something like 16. And we have that like that. So that's actually looking pretty decent. And then let's add another modifier called a weld. We're in pretty good shape. If I use Q and look at my wireframe, I can see what's going on. And I'm having a lot of stretching. So let's get Make sure that we set the scale right, that's better. And then I'm gonna add one more modifier, and that's another bevel. And I'm gonna give this another 16 or so faces. So there's our basic bottle. I can tab into this, select this, and move it up. And that's the reason why we use the template. I'll show you here in a sec. But with that done, now I'm gonna go over to a tool that's expensive and you can remesh this and I have a video on using some of the existing remeshers but this is that ZBrush remesher and I gotta say man the thing rocks let's make it 5,000 and make sure we symmetry X and Y and I don't want any hard edges in this and I'll just say remesh it and there's our perfect bottle remeshed and then I will just go inside view shift a mesh cube let's scale that down to one inch one inch and let's move it up to here and scale it up and then I'm gonna turn this template back on and I can see that that's the top of it right there so take this and this minus and we're in good pretty good shape and then we'll take this and we'll say add a modifier and we'll add a solidify and let's let's do this something like that and let's put the solidify above the bull tool so we get that and really that's that's basically it i can go in here now and and kid ops if you're if you're part of the uh pay, my patreon you'll have this it's this new special plastic or, or actually it's not plastic it's it's a glass that i've added and so to say add that material to there there's the material q turn off the wireframe and that's our object shift a mesh plane and let's give that a material too we'll use that the uh, concrete material we had previously and, and then we'll hide our template one more time. And you can see that looks pretty good. If I wanna go in and make sure it's plastic, I'll just go in here. And for my EV, I'm gonna make the IOR about 1.4 because IOR does not necessarily match perfectly in EV, but in cycles it does. And that's the glass. And for plastics, 1.33, so we'll add that. And there's our plastic. And if I go ahead and render this in cycles, let's see. How wonderful that glass looks. So 
So real quick, let me show you uh, the other ways of remeshing this inside of Blender. Uh, first, you can take the object and you can just tab into it. And under options here, we can set it to mirror X and Y. And then we go into our vertex, uh, th this area, the object data properties for these uh, vertices. And we'll go into remesh and we'll go to quad and we'll use quadraflow remesh. Click on here and we'll just leave it default. Uh, use mesh symmetry. That's going to use the symmetry that we just set up. And we'll hit 4,000. We did 5,000, I think, with that one, but it'll do 4,000. And you can see that this really doesn't work very well at all. Um, if I undo this, and let's just go back into our object, and let's just apply all these. And then we'll go back in here, and we'll do the quadraflow remesh again. We get a little better, but nothing great. So I'm going to undo that, undo that. And now we're back to where we started. So the better way of handling this is let's just collapse all of these modifiers and let's add another modifier and we will add the remesh modifier and we'll go to smooth and then we'll just start messing with this number until we get something that we like. And that's probably as good as we're going to get. Maybe this one and add a subdivision surface modifier on top of that. And that's actually not, not too bad. That'll work probably pretty good and we can then use the same uh, technique that we did before. So I just want to share that with you so that, you know, if you don't have quad remesher, which is uh, the product that we showed earlier, if you don't have that, then this is another way of getting something very similar. So hope that helps. Anyway, hope this was uh, interesting for some of you. It's a really fast way of modeling, and that is where you just basically build it. It's kind of in a rough shape, and then you turn around and you uh, remesh it. So thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.